tying it to holistic. Explain what you mean. Well, there's there. a doctor in, there's a homeopathic doctor in uh, uh, India. His name is Ramakrishnan. It, all he uses is homeopathy. He doesn't do vitamins. He doesn't do nutrition. He doesn't do diet. He just does homeopathy. And he has 52, 65, 72, 80% success rates with all different types of cancer. Abram Hoffer, um, who was an, a medical doctor, bless his heart, he was a, co uh, a colleague of Linus Pauling, the vitamin C guru. Mm -hmm. um, Hoffer founded a, a, a type of medicine called orthomolecular medicine, which is kind of like naturopathic medicine, but it's the use of vitamins therapeutically. Hoffer and Pauling had remarkable results with cancer patients, right? Um, Dr. Wallach. Uh, when he was working at the uh, cancer clinic in Mexico, because, you know, the, the holistic therapeutics are outlawed in the United mm -hmm. States, was having remarkable results with cancer. They weren't, nobody had developed a cure for cancer, but they were, they, their therapeutics were much more effective than drugs and surgery and chemo. Much more effective and clinically verified and published. But it's not looked at mm -hmm. because medicine in the United States is a for-profit industry. You know, in a perfect world, in a perfect world, if by some genie in the bottle magic, we would all wake up tomorrow, and from tomorrow forward, there would be equal disbursement of money for medical research amongst all the professions. You know, the chiropractors would get 50% and the nature pass would, or 20% and the nature pass would get 20%, the homeopaths would get 20%, the acupuncturists would get 20%, the MDs would get 20%. In about five years, most MDs would be out of business because their therapeutics do not work. The eighth, I want you to think about this. Of the thousands of prescription medicines that there are, the only prescription medicines that cure anything are antibiotics. Medical doctor, an MD can cure arth uh, uh, pneumonia. They can cure bronchitis. They can cure staph and strep and they can cure parasitic infection, right? But that's it. But medical doctor can't even cure heartburn. They don't cure heartburn, they manage it. They can't cure arthritis, they manage it. They can't cure high blood pressure, they manage it. They can't cure fibromyalgia, they manage it. And so forth and so on. But because this is the only thing that we've grown up with in the United States, because this is all that we know, the only doctor that we know about is the MD doctor, and the MDs have been telling everybody and their brother for the last hundred years that I'm a quack and that all my colleagues are quacks. The a American Medical Association was found guilty in federal court in 1984 of promoting a 10-year slander campaign against the chiropractors. And they were ordered to pay the chiropractors $25 million in damages for slandering them for 10 years. And we give them a pass. We give that profession a pass. They kill 15,000 Medicare patients a month, and we give them a pass. They've lost the war on cancer. We give them a pass. When are we going to wake up? It's time. That's why we give 400 free lectures a year. That's why we're generating a giant grassroots network. And quite frankly, the, the listening audience here, we need your help. We need your help because we're dying in this country for no good reason. And the irony of ironies is that we know the solution. Mm -hmm. but nobody's listening. Well, that's not true. People are starting to listen. <coughs> and this word is spreading. We have a, a number of uh, um, churches in North Carolina and in South Chicago that the um, pastors of the church have had health problems and they've come to Dr. Wallach and myself and recovered their health and now they're telling their congregation and the congregation is adopting our policies and recovering their health and it's starting to spread like wildfire. So there is, we are getting a little bit of lift here. But you know, I think it was uh, uh, Max Planck who was a um, 
a physicist, you know, one of uh, Einstein's colleagues, right, and Niels Bohr. Um, Max Planck said, medicine uh, progresses, or science, science evolves one funeral at a time, right? Because the old guard believes and practices what they've been trained in, what they're invested in financially, emotionally. They're not going to, no, people are not open to new ideas. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're at the very beginning of a new thing here in the United States. And hopefully with the use of media, you know, we can populate our message faster, better, stronger, and, and, and more effectively. Because as God is my witness, for, for most of the conditions that most people go to the MD for most of the time, the MD is completely unable to fix it. They can't, you can't, you cannot fix a nutrient deficiency disease with a drug. Now listen, if you've got a bullet in your arm, or if you've broken your leg, or in your automobile accident, that's what those guys are good for. Mm -hmm. Go to them for that. And in China, where they have two and a half billion people, they don't have a health care crisis. Why? They don't have skyrocketing health care costs. Why? They don't have people filing bankruptcy because of health issues. Why? Because they only use Western medicine. They only use MD-directed pharmaceutical medicine for trauma. For everything else, they use acupuncture and herbs. Tip of the iceberg here in the United States. So we've been... I, again, I don't want to say brainwash, but I can't think of another word. Um, it, it's not brainwashing. Enculturated. We've been enculturated to believe that the MD knows everything that there is about medicine and everybody else is a back-of-the-bus quack. And quite frankly, it couldn't be further from mm -hmm. the truth because the only people selling snake oil in the United States have MD after their name. Only people selling snake oil in the United States have MD after their name.